All right, guys, and welcome back with more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are still on day one of investigations for the Lana Sky trial. And before we even go back into it, I also want to say I got the fan on right now. So if you can hear it, that's, that's my, my fan. That's my fan that's on right now. And the reason I have it on is because we turned the heat up a bit in the house because we are, we are pretty much heating up the house to prepare for the coldness for tomorrow and tonight because it's supposed to go below 50 below 50 degrees tomorrow and then i believe the day after that it's, it's gonna be ridiculous man some places are below 70 60 i'm like how is this possible this has never happened i've never experienced below temperatures of 50 i the, the high or the lowest degree weather i've ever experience was negative 20 but negative 50 negative 60 oh my goodness so i threw that fan on to balance out the balance out my room because we got the heat on and i need to blow that air and i got the window open a little bit too so i can get some you know try to stay warm you know trying to trying to balance balance out the cold and the heat try to stay warm you know but without further ado let us start this up let's go ahead and talk to mr gumshoe the case I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend that suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime already, of course. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. Look at this guy. He looks so... Dude, this dude looks so innocent. He just got killed. It look... He wasn't even doing anything wrong, I bet. He just died. But what if she's not telling the truth? Why should it be like an accidental murder? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? What is, why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief's prosecutor's little sister? I didn't know. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Especially after Von Karma and Edgeworth with the rumors, yeah. The investigation, the investigation. I just cracked my knuckles, wow, with my feet. What, what do you call? The toes. I, I cracked my toe knuckles. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I cracked my toe knuckles. So anyway, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing, really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Whoa, Detective Gumshoe. What did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all, it's true. We never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detective in at all. Wow, none of you? I know this is, I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. So he has free time, basically. Isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know this Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of. That is kind of unheard of. Uh, let's see if we can present anything to Gumshoe here. Perhaps the... No, nah, we shouldn't know. If we present this, he's going to react the same way to... Nah, I don't think that's going to do anything. Maybe the prosecutor trophy list present that. Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Really? Ha! <laughs> Congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. 
but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we heard about the rumors. He's got haters. He's got haters. Gotta brush them haters off, Edgeworth. Brush off the haters. Haterade. They're drinking Haterade, man. All right, let's present the, let's present the attorney's badge. Detective, it's my attorney's badge. You show this to me every time we meet, pal. Real man show their police badge. Enough said. I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found that detective's card, didn't I? Oh, so that's a hint that I should present the good man's ID. Um, detective, what can you tell me about this? Hey, pal. That is a detective's ID card, and I just took a sip of his Hawaiian punches. Extremely delicious. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal offense? Whoa, no, I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. Ah, I had a feeling. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Boo boo. Ambulance. I know you guys probably hear them. You can't hear them because I probably got the game sound overpowering my voice anyway. So let's ask Detective Gumshoe about Bruce Goodman. So this ID card belonged to the victim. He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's, a sh it's strange? I mean, why would the victim ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police or at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too, but Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but. Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. What's her What's her freaking motive? We don't even have her motive. Elena is confessing as much. Why did she kill him? If she did kill him. Uh, can we examine anything over here? Let's examine the child. Oh, the blue badger. I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective gumshoe? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Uh, nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, and dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger, faded to dance until he drops. Oh, wow, Blue Badger added to the court record. We needed to do that, huh? All right, let's look at the police sign. I always get excited when I come to the police station. Hmm, why is that? It just feels like I'm jumped into a movie. What? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I, I don't know if this is all that exciting, but sure it is. Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. Funny. I thought they were talking about the weather. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Look at that patrolman saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, and, excuse me. And then I say, hey, you do that, your suit will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he was saluting, he was wiping. <laughs> I guess he wasn't saluting, he was wiping tears from his eyes. I need to pay attention. They make a good pair. What's this? The banner here is announcing the crime fighting uh, campaign. I said champion. Nice slogan. I wonder if there will be selling fingerprinting sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. A family wouldn't want it set at home. It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. Really? I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. <laughs> Mr. Wright, 
do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea, why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda. A panda? Not that I have scientific proof, it's just a theory. Do you mind asking... Do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? That's a silly theory. It was when I was on a school trip, I saw a patrol car and it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? What about zebras? Or did they not have those at your zoo? <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Is there anything else we can do? Let's see if we can present that parking, uh, that parking uh, lot stub. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car. Stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Well, who, or excuse me, what would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I, I didn't mean, I'm sh I mean, sure, of course, someone really else could have did it. I mean, someone must have, um, someone must have had a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Yeah, we sure do. What about the blue badger panel? Did we present the, the trophy before? Hey, that's it! That's the king of the prosecutors. Yeah, we did do this already. Were you at the award ceremony? Yes, of course. Ah, right, congratulations. I was wondering, why is this? Why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edwards for winning that award. He's even got haters. Yup, yada, yada, yada. Rumors at law. That was in there before. He's in a tough spot again. Again? Oh! <laughs> Dude, they love showing uh, that picture of someone getting shot. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal. There have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusual strong ties to the department higher ups. Higher ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to be, or who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting a bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is, what's his name? The, the guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. Jake Marshall, huh? From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene, maybe. Oh, nice. Letter of in introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Thanks, dick. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. I'm, I'm so weird. Because what I just did... I was acting like uh, a police officer. I was flashing my badge, and I was flashing my badge, entering the crime scene, going under the tape. That's what I did, but you know, I did it physically. I didn't do it verbally. <laughs> so you guys didn't even see what I was doing. I, I kind of went in la la land for a little bit, but you know what? I'm back. I'm back. Bam, bam, boom, boom. Alright, we ain't got nowhere else to go. Let's go to an underground parking lot. Let's do this. Let's do this. February 22nd. Prosecutor's office. Underground parking lot. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. 
I'll see you in my dreams tonight, baby. Baby. Ooh, still here? Hello. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. What happened to the security guard? Yo, she's a cheater. Cheater. What's wrong, Bambina? I'm looking like a doggy. That's lots is heard. Look, look, look. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Bambina, Bambina, cutting my beard with a knife. Very risque. <laughs> There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime, a code grave for men who has lost their dreams. And me, I watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch his interest? Alright, so before we even try to talk to him, because I don't even think we can examine to the right. Nope, we gotta show the introductory. Uh, letter of introductory, that is. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of a crime, a cold blood double double did did that, but double duper duper da ba 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 ba. Alright, let's present. Can I present it to him by saying something? What do I need to present? Letter of introduction. Let's present this. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters go to, or excuse me, I warn you, fan letters to me go right in the spit room. The spittoon. What the hell is a spittoon? It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. He holding a birthday party or something? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah, I think he just miswrote it. Great Detective Gumshoe, I owe you one. No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. <laughs> Guess I better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective, he's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, for folks, the clues are Colin. Welcome to our ghost strike. Be like the settler. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny, let's have a hoot nanny. What? Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I think this guy is fucking nuts. <laughs> I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective Gumshoe's letter of introduction crumpled and discarded. Let's go check out the Mustang. Mustang Sally. Wait, before we go do that, let's talk to him about the victim and Marshall. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Uh, could you be a little more specific? Mm -hmm. Bruce Goodman, he was a detective, right? Oh, well, aren't you a feisty doggy? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. The smiling Madonna? Who is that? I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. She's the... Okay, so she's the witness. There's a lot of, um, this is a, a lot of different characters showing up in this one. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here is the autopsy report. Autopsy report. I kind of like it that they add, like, all, more characters. Because, I mean, previously in all the other cases, there were, like, maybe one or two characters introduced. And you know it, either one of those had to be the killer. And they were usually all working together or something. So this kind of adds more of a guessing game to it. Like, hmm, I wonder who these guys are, what exactly they, what connections they have with this case, could one of these guys be the actual killer, you know? There's more of a guessing game to it now with all these different characters showing up rather than introducing one or two new characters per case, you know? Yo, I feel so sick right now. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I had to feel my neck. It feels like I was bleeding. I felt like I was bleeding in my neck. That's weird. I'm sorry. Optosy report added to the court record. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prose er, Prospect of Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? 
They apparently worked together on the case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prospector. Why does he call it the prospector? Why not the pros prosecutor? The chief process prosecutor. And see, now he's got me trying to say prospector now. Oh my goodness, this guy's... Ugh, I hate this guy already. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot. So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout to a, at high noon. Wow. Marshall, who are you? I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman. So how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? <laughs> so why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I keep an, I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. Short on hands? What, why didn't they get, like, Detective Gumshoe? He was doing absolutely nothing. That's all right, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. <laughs> nothing important, at least. I just said that, Emma. Why are you repeating me? He's nothing but a sad old cow dog. You can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, yeah? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of the of this cattle run by order of chief police. <coughs> Yo, my voice cracked. <clears throat> oh, that's bad. Just he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation. Huh. I don't think we can do anything else here. Do we have anything? Goodman's autopsy report. When did we get this? Death due to loss of blood, one knife wound. Oh, we got this from Jake, I believe. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Huh? Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Something's not adding up already. I thought she invited him here to, at around 5.15. Record of parking in the prosecutor's office lot. Entered lot at 5.12 p.m. Died within an hour of a half, hour and a half of 4 p.m. So that would be around 5.30. Record of parking in the prosecutor's office lot. Entered lot at 5.12 p.m. This is going to be very important. We got to keep that in mind. Alright. Okay, cool. So let's go check out that Mustang, shall we? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to save the game before we check out the Mustang. Of course, I got to take a break. Save, a, save the game, of course. And once we come back, we'll be back with more Phoenix Wright. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, right now, I was just freaking out there for a second. It's like, my neck felt inflamed. So, I'm going to take a short break and go look at myself in the mirror, and I'll be right back. So, I'll see you guys shortly.